All right, so today I'm gonna show y'all how to do your basic drawings from Inkscape, then process it into sheet cam, and then to your cutting procedures on Sirius Command CNC. First, we're gonna start off in Inkscape. It has these tools over here that you can use, basic shapes. And we're just gonna grab our square tool, come out here and click and drag. Go up here, grab the cursor, and you're gonna change the millimeters to inches, and then you're gonna size it to wherever you want to with the width and the height. So we're gonna make this three by three. There it is. And then we're gonna put a circle right in the center. So we'll grab the circle tool, circle tool click and drag. We're gonna make it a different color so it'll recognize it as two different objects. And then once again, you go up and grab your cursor and we're gonna size it to a one by one. There again, with the width and the height. You're gonna throw it in there and then uh, you'll click and drag a box around the whole thing. Go up to object, align and distribute. And you'll come over here and center it on vertical axis and then center it on the horizontal axis. We'll go up to file, save as, and we'll do three by three square, one inch hole. Save it, and then you go into sheet cam. This is where you, uh, you'll you turn it into an NGC file to where you can actually cut it. So we'll go to file, we'll go to new part, yes. And here's our part we just created as an SVG. Uh, SVGs will always be a one-to-one -one scaling and will always work from the lower left-hand corner. So we'll just click okay. There's our part. You'll go up here and grab your edit contours tool and put it in layers. So you'll move over to the circle. It'll change it white. You'll right click, move to layer, and you'll create a new layer. And we'll call this inside. Click okay. And then you do, th do the same thing for your square. You'll right click once it turns white, move to layer, and new layer. We'll call this outside. Once you do that, you go down here to your create a new jet cutting operation. You'll put it as a inside offset for your inside layer that we created. We'll be cutting mostly on 14 gauge just for testing purposes. And this is where you get to check all your uh, settings. Uh, you always go back in the book and double check for the beginning stages of it. And you always want to know what your preset volts are for whenever you go into Command CNC. So right now it's at 130. We'll click OK. Uh, you always want to make sure EOC anti-dive is checked on your path rules. And then you'll just click OK. So there's how it's going to go and cut the circle. And then we'll go create another one for your square. So instead of inside offset, we'll have an outside offset for your outside layer. Everything else stays the same, and just click OK. Once you get that situated, you go up to File, Save Job As, and you'll just click Save. And you'll do the, and then you go up here to the Run the Post Processor. Looks like a green play button. You'll click that, and you'll save it again. Click OK, and now you go to Command CNC. So you go to Command, F11 to make the screen bigger. You'll, it'll always be an e-stop whenever you first open it up. So all you do is click e-stop. You'll move the gantry where you want to in order to start the cut. So, And then you'll just zero your X, zero your Y. Home your Z first, and then zero that. And then once you click run, it'll change your preset volts to what we had said over in sheet cam, which is 130. 
So everything works just fine. So, okay.